Ladies, y'all loved my last video on a taboo topic and suggested I start a Taboo Tuesday series, so here we are. Today we're going to talk about proper aftercare after sex. So depending on what you're using for birth control, like condoms or not, um, there's usually a little bit of cleanup involved, so you kind of have to make that infamous waddle to the toilet. If you want to get as much out as possible, kind of bear down a little bit, almost like you're pushing out your pee. I don't feel like I need to say this, but just in case, always wipe front to back as usual, never back to front. Always, always, always go pee within 20 minutes. It clears out any bad bacteria that might have gone up your urethra and can cause bladder infections, UTIs, all that not fun stuff. Whether you like to cuddle or you're more hands off after having sex, communicate that to your partner because not everyone reacts the same way. And on that same note, it is actually really normal to be emotional and even cry afterward. Hormones, man. The more you know. All right, I have given you guys so many tips on feminine care washing and shaving, but now I'm just going to demo what I mean. So before you ever start shaving, you want to use a scrub like this to get off any dead skin cells. It'll prevent ingrowns and make your shave so much closer. Now here's the actual technique. You're going to shave side to side, then down with the grain of your hair. If you don't have sensitive skin, you can probably go against the grain, but that is a surefire way to get irritation and razor burn if you do have sensitive skin. Then I go in with aloe or coconut oil or some sort of gentle moisturizer. And this is the game changer. This is called 10 Skin and it is going to get rid of any ingrowns or razor burn. It even kind of stings a little bit. Nothing terrible. It is so worth it. If you're watching this, don't body shit, 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 don't body shit. If you're watching this, don't body shit, don't body shit. Great John on the beat, by the way. My body different. Shorty said she trying to kick it. I'm in the mouth, son, like a dentist. Cooking up, I'm in the kitchen. Big bro wildin' trying to catch a victim. I took a L, but now... Ladies, I got a lot of questions about feminine care products to wash and clean yourself with downstairs. Let's just call it what it's called. Vulva, labia, vagina. I feel like it's really important to actually normalize those words because they're basic anatomy that you've got. Nothing weird about it. Anywho, I want to reiterate, water is your best friend. You don't need anything other than water and either your fingertips or a washcloth to clean properly. But if you feel like you do need some sort of wash or soap, go with something gentle and unscented always. In general, I do not recommend a lot of the feminine care brands out there. The ingredients are really harsh and the branding kind of makes you feel self-conscious. But there are two products I do really like who I feel have a message about getting close with yourself that's on point and the products are great. On the left, we have Olivia. It is a soap-free product, so you can use it from head to toe, and it is so gentle. And then we have the Honey Pot Sensitive Wash, which is another great one that's pH balanced and super gentle. Stay fresh, stay blessed. Ladies, what's up? You guys love these videos about feminine care and feminine grooming, which is great. I like them too. I don't find it taboo at all. So we're gonna continue today with my favorite period products that make bleeding once a month slightly more bearable, okay? Let's go. Number one, CBD cream. I like to put this on my back because I get back cramps from hell. I like to rub it on my stomach. Wherever I have some aches and pain, I swear it makes me feel so much better. It's like one big <sighs> moment. Period panties. Genius, incredible, fantastic. You need them. I am pissed that these were not around when I was a teenager. They've got thongs and briefs, all the good stuff. I wear She Thinks brand, any of them will do. Lastly, let's talk about washes because things get a little, um, mm, funky down there during your period and like, that's nothing to be ashamed of. But if you want to freshen up, water is always enough. But if you need a little something, something extra, I like Olivia and the Honey Pot.
Stay fresh, stay blessed, ladies. Ponte me de espalda. back again with tips for my girls. Why? Because this is stuff that women should know and they don't because our education system has failed us. Today's all about smelling fresh downtown. First off, it is a self-cleaning oven. Get out of its way and let it do its thing. Ideally, you're sleeping naked, but at the very least, you're sleeping in loose fitting shorts or cotton underwear. When you're in the shower, go in with water or the gentlest soap imaginable, not summer's eve. Get in there really good. Without going inside, we don't go inside. You can use a washcloth if that helps, but water is enough if you're doing it daily. If you have hair down there, use a super gentle soap or wash and shampoo the hair. Hair holds odor, so you might be getting odor from the hair instead of like discharge odor. By the way, discharge is normal. Do a whole video on that. Drink a ton of water. It's a mucous membrane. If you're dehydrated, it's not flushing out bacteria optimally, which means more funky smells. As always, go see a doctor if you're worried. So you back him. Uh, I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, uh, ratchet. Yeah. Sassy, moody, hey. nasty. Hey. Yeah. Hacking, stupid. Whoa. What's happening? Whoa. Whoa. What was happening? Whoa. Whoa. I'm a savage. Hi again. Y'all seem to love my videos with girl talk and I don't find them taboo at all. So today we're gonna talk about sex. I'm gonna give you the sex talk that maybe you wish you had or you just need a refresher. This is all stuff I've picked up from my doctors, my friends, my family. I hope it serves you well. First of all, sex is wonderful. It's also a responsibility. If you don't meet the two conditions, respecting yourself and respecting this other person, don't do it. And respecting yourself and this other person encompasses consent and protection. If you're not ready to have those conversations, if you're not ready to take responsibility, you're not ready to have sex. Don't put yourself in that position. Second, once you start having sex, you should be ideally seeing your gynecologist yearly for a pap smear. Third, and I hate that I have to say this, but you don't owe anybody sex, period. Period. There's no age, there's no timeline, there's no third date rule. Only do what you're comfortable with with someone you're comfortable with, period. Lastly, always pee after sex. Even if it's just a tinkle, clears out bad bacteria and prevents UTIs. Shawty made that ass cut, she don't need no clothes. High fashion, like go yard, yeah. G-Wagon. Or the rover. I put some ice on you cause you got a cold heart. I know I gotta keep my shorty on go go, go. Drop that ass So from day one of making these videos I have said Do not Do not Do not Use Summer's Eve I get a lot of questions every single time Why? Is it bad for me? Am I going to die? No But here's why you shouldn't use it The bottle says it's pH balance And it is Inside the bottle But when those harsh ingredients get down into your hoo-ha it messes up all the good bacteria, the microbiome down there, which can cause so many extra smells and problems over time. It's also got harsh cleaning ingredients. So you're talking dryness, irritation. I don't want that. It's also usually really, really fragranced. I can do a whole video on this if you guys want to, but fragrance should be avoided in pretty much all personal care, but especially with the stuff that goes down on your lady bits, okay? Just say no to Summer's Eve. Water does the trick, but if you need a wash, there are much better ones out there. Like this for a part three, and I'll give you all my product recommendations. Stay fresh, stay blessed.
Hey guys, so I get a lot of questions from y'all about hair removal in the nether regions. Let's talk about it. The first question I get is what age you should start removing hair? I love and hate that question. One, I hate it because it makes me feel bad that there's this pressure on girls to remove their hair. Because the truth is, your hair is your hair. Do what you want. On the other hand, I love it because it is something a lot of people deal with and I'm happy to answer it. So there's no right age. Whenever you feel comfortable removing your hair, go for it. Common hair removal methods are shaving, waxing, and if you're genuinely psycho, epilating. No matter what, in order to have like the smoothest, least irritated, best hair removal experience, you want to be exfoliating. You can make this at home with like sugar and olive oil, or you can go buy one, but exfoliating will help remove dense skin cells and prevent ingrowns, which suck. And then I definitely recommend using a product like Ten Skin after you shave. It is a game changer for razor burn. Looking at me like you want my man. What the fuck? back with another video ladies let's talk about the elephant in the room freaking discharge what a weird concept but i'm here to tell you it is normal it's good for you and the fact that you have it means your hoo-ha is doing exactly what it needs to be doing go you like i've said before your hoo-ha is a self-cleaning oven discharge is because it's cleaning itself that's a good thing. The amount of discharge you get varies. Like I have friends that, you know, they'll have some in their underwear at the end of the day, like we all do. And then I have other friends who like literally feel like they have peed their pants. I even have friends that wear panty liners. That's not abnormal. And so I hope that makes you feel better if you feel like you have an abnormal amount. General good vaginal health will help. Drink your water, wear cotton underwear. Don't use products with synthetic fragrance down there. The rest is just what your body's gonna do. If you have concerns about like smell or just your, you have questions, go ask a doctor. It is absolutely nothing to be embarrassed of. Stay fresh, stay blessed.